Hello and welcome to The Point from Navitend. In this screencast, we'll look at the Microsoft Word Quick Access Toolbar. Let's get started. The Quick Access Toolbar appears on the top left corner of the Microsoft Word window. If you haven't customized it already, it likely looks like this. By default, the Quick Access Toolbar includes buttons for saving a document, undoing and redoing revisions. You can add or remove additional functions by following these steps. First, click the drop down arrow on the right side of the Quick Access Toolbar. In the list that appears, select which additional options you'd like to have. For example, if I'd like to be able to open documents from this toolbar, select that option. The Open Documents button appears, and I can simply click that to open a new document. To remove a button, the process is basically the same. Click the drop-down arrow and reselect the, uh, deselect the appropriate option. However, you're not merely limited to these, this handful of uh, tools. You can, in fact, add almost any word command in the system. To do that, click the drop-down and select more commands near the bottom. In the list that appears, choose the additional command you'd like to add. There are several different categories of commands. Popular commands includes most of what you'd, in a normal project, want to add to the Quick Access Toolbar. But there are are several categories including charts and tables, drawing, pictures, outlining, background removal tab. There's many different types of tools. So from popular commands I'll just select a couple here so that you can see the effect. I'll add the paste option, uh, the copy option, the font selector, and the style tab. And click OK. You can see these buttons have been added to the Bar. If I choose this, I'm brought right to the fonts bar, and if I click this, I can adjust styles. You can remove items in the same way by going, clicking the drop-down arrow, going to more commands, selecting them from the right side, and choosing remove. And now we're back to the original three commands, save, undo, and redo. Click OK. And we're back. With that, we reach the conclusion of the screencast. You can watch previous issues or subscribe to receive the point via email on our website. The link is below. Have a great week.